Doug at Big Guy, what I'm going to do is show you how to rekey um, a lock for this particular one came out of uh, the cross country bags. They, most of them are all pretty similar and there's a good reason why we need to show you to do this because a lot of the bags that we sell, uh, the bike didn't come with a key and you're going to have to get, you can use your key for your bike and I'm going to show you how to rekey this thing to where your key will work. So I'm going to have, these are these are our sets, and they're, if you'll see, they're identical. So you just, whether it's left or right, they're the same. And uh, the key to tearing these things down, if you've never done it, is just do one at a time. And you may, that way you've got something to do, uh, go by when you put it back together. So you're going to start by taking this uh, here out. I'm going to speed it up by using power tools. Another trick I always use taking things apart is you, you lay it out, especially if you've never done it is you lay it out in uh, the sequence that you take it apart and that way when you put it back together you put, put it back in reverse sequence and it helps you and I know how to do these but anyway so I don't really need to do it but I'm showing you how to do that all right so once you get to that that it'll pop out the cylinder does and if you'll see this this cylinder this key does not work in that cylinder i'm going to show you how it does so we're going to take the the top off, the back off of this here okay so that pulled off as a unit this goes in here like this Show you that that's the way it's going to come out it's going to, that goes like that this goes over the top so you just keep layering it back like that so when you get to this this stage here there's there's a washer then there's going to be a o-ring get that out and that can be a little aggravating at times once you get it get a hold of it it generally will pop on out just take your time. You don't want to cut cut the uh, cut this little O-ring. A straight one, got it. Then there's going to be another washer just like that in the bottom. Pop that out. That's what it looks like. And then. Down inside here is a latch. It's going to be hard to show it in the with the video, but I'll show you when I pull this cylinder out. This out of the cylinder. There's a little latch in here. It's this little dude right there, and you've got to get it to release. Again, you just sort of have to keep tinkering with it, and it'll it'll finally release. It's moving. So what you want to, once it, it'll go down inside itself. Like I said, when I get it out, you'll be able to see it. And out of everything that you work with, that right there is the most aggravating to me. Is this little lock. And I'll show you what it is. It's this right here. It's a little latch lock and it's spring loaded. And so from the back side, it's, st it's, it's protruding against this lip and you have to depress it and then push the cylinder out. And like I said, that's the hardest, that most aggravating thing. If you look at this, it's got, you can see those four grooves in there and these tumblers ride in those grooves. And you'll see that these tumblers are up and they can't twist in that cylinder down there. So you stick a key in it. You'll see some of them, because of the way the key's cut, you can see them moving. And all of them have to be, have to get down flat. Except for this back one. 
and there's a couple ways to do it I'm going to show you to get this to work all right so you can actually just grab a hold of if you wanted to grab a hold of every one of these turn tumblers it's what I call them. I might not be using the exact terms that locksmith would use, but that's what we always called them, was the tumblers. You can pull them out. You can pull every one of them out if you wanted to. And then any key that you want, that you've got that's similar to this, you can stick it in there and it'll actually work the lock. But on this particular one, another way you can do it, as you can see, those two protruding, you just file, take a file and file those and get them down flat to where this cylinder will rotate around inside this hole. Um, and then when you pull it, pull it back out, those tumblers come up and they get into the groove and that's what locks it. So what I'm going to do with this particular one, every one of them is a little different, to get it to work. I'm going to pull this second one out. And like I said, this one doesn't count. This one's got to stay in. Let me pull that second one out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this little thing and pull that out. And there's a spring in there. Most of the time they'll pop right out. So we got that one out. And so that one's not going to be a problem. This one here is down probably low enough that it will it'll spin inside that cylinder. This one on the front's not, and probably that one right there is not. So I'm just instead of worrying about it, I'm just gonna pull. And the thing about the thing about pulling all your tumblers out, any key will work, but only you know that. So if you don't tell anybody, nobody knows. So your key would be... For all anybody else knows, the key you're using to stick in there is the only key that would work. Nobody's going to just come by and stick a key in your bag to see if it works. And the front one's still up, so we're going to take that one out. So we'll have a couple of... It'll, it'll, it'll feel like he's sticking something in there when I get done, but... Again, if you wanted to be particular about it, you could take and file down the top. So that once you stick the key in, just file down the, the, the parts that are sticking up above this round spot. And it would be the same thing. This is just a little quicker way. Before we go any further, I want to show you something here. It's It's got the key cylinder designed to turn 180 degrees. That's a half a turn. For those of you who might not know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it's 180 degree turn. It turns half. These ears stop it right here inside this cylinder. You can see those two ears. That's, on, that's down in there. Right there. And then this right here is the stop on the edge. It's not, you can see it's not over on this side. It, kind of, it comes around. So the reason I'm showing you that is you've got to match that section there to go in between these two stops in here that I showed. From here, it's got to go between those two spots. So we're going to line it up and set it down in there. And that's what I'm talking about. So that's got to go there. And you've got to line this stack of wafers up with a slot. And then depress that little... Just like that. You see how you see it click in. Now it's in there. Like I showed on the back side. You see it'll go 180 degrees. If you don't set it in there right, it won't. it can't spin. So if you notice, we took all those wafers out. If you'll notice, it's still... 
is still locked. So you stick it all the way in. Let's put it back together. So we're just going to reverse the process to go that we had. There, that washer, that o ring. So we'll poke it down in there. Put this on top. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna have is this. And if you put it together wrong the first time, it's not too hard to put it, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together to get this here right. But I believe I believe that's gonna be it, because this thing should turn between those two, that lever there should turn, and it does, between those two ears. So, put this back down on. Get this thing started by hand, so we don't strip any of that out. Speed it up. These these don't put too much torque on it. Yeah. All right. So now this is gonna be. You need to make sure that your rubber washer didn't come out in here. And again, this is for a, a saddlebag, but like I said, most of them are going to work very similar. So push it on. Push it. By the way, you've got these tabs here that you're going to have to line back up. It's real self. It's, they've, they've pretty much idiot proved it to a certain extent to help you with, with the little tabs. Okay, so it's down in there. Again, I'm going to just double check and make sure. And it is. It's spinning. This right here is what's going to activate your latch lever. All right, so we keep working back from our stack that we had. You got this. Let me rephrase that. We got to put this in. Now I have worked these key cylinders and just left this little deal here in. And that's what that does is that act activates. The uh, see how that works right there. That's your little lever. You push this button down, it pushes it. And the way this thing locks is real simple, actually. All it does is just move that out of the way. So when this thing locks, okay, so now it, you can push on it all you want to. It's not going to hit this, this, and depress it. So you push it back around, it's unlocked. There you go. So put this in. This thing here has a little depression in it and you want to be sure and put that over your uh, spring so the spring doesn't shoot out from under it and then you just sort of just press it all down in there just like that make sure that the spring is lined up and put your last screw in You got it. It's back. You're ready to go back in the bag.